Um, I think Sri Lanka is a very interesting market for investment in the leisure sector. Uh, the Russian market is only 65,000 people at the moment, but the potential for growth, I think, is phenomenal. Uh, and if they pick the right segments, uh, like uh, entertainment or fun parks, uh, other aspects of tourism, rather than just look at hotel assets per se, I think the returns can be even more attractive. Well, I think the answer would be that the potential for it to be one of the key uh, areas where the Russian market would go to uh, is there. I think in Goa, there's about 250,000 uh, Russians who visit regularly. Uh, Sri Lanka only has 65,000. Um, and once we get direct airline connectivity, I think that could be hugely successful. I think it's vital because uh, how else do you get to know uh, a market? How else do you get um, the ability to understand the diversity and the opportunities of a market? So I think uh, international expertise is great. Local know-how and uh, connectivity within the government structure of Sri Lanka, the ease of doing business, once it becomes clear to investors, then it becomes much easier to do business in that country. So I think it's important. Sri Lanka has two potential upsides. One is the capital uh, growth. So the value of investments uh, will appreciate in value. Uh, we've got the Shangri-La, we've got uh, uh, ITC hotels building, we've got uh, substantial developments in the hotel space. The returns on uh, investment can be very attractive, not just in building hotels, but in other leisure-related industries. So there's transportation, entertainment, there's a whole uh, network of things that can give very interesting returns.